thank you for stopping by my classroom. My name is Miss Daniel and I am currently a third grade mathematics teacher. In this video, I'd like to highlight several instructional tools I've used with my students during the month of October as a way to share ideas with a larger virtual professional learning community. You might think of this showcase as a sort of show and tell for teachers. In featuring these items, I'll share my honest reviews as well as how my students engaged with the product or service. The items I feature may range from do-it-yourself center ideas to websites to school purchase manipulatives. Please know that I am not being compensated to promote any of these items. Each month, I would love to share new ideas and introduce new tools that I'm using in my classroom. And I would certainly love to hear from other teachers their reactions or how they implemented or worked with the products and tools that I feature. You can do this by leaving me comments in the comment sections below this video or even send me a video response. I would certainly love to hear from you. Well, let's go ahead and get started with my first instructional tool. During the summer, I was fortunate enough to start searching for storage crates. Now, if you're a teacher, you understand the unique relationship a teacher tends to have with anything storage related. I was able to find these nice crates at, believe it or not, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so they were $1. What I loved about them is that they came in an assortment of colors and they contain, or they're able to hold quite a lot. As you can see here in the front section, it's kind of oblong and rectangular shaped. I'm able to fit a gallon size bag full of manipulatives uh, inside this front section here that's probably about eight or so inches deep. And that runs across the front of the container. I also have some rollers here. I currently use these as uh, center organizational devices for my students at each of the different tables and center stations around my classroom. I have a grouping of pencils here that I'm able to fit inside, as well as uh, sticky notes, two timers, two glue sticks, and about 10 or so uh, markers and highlighters. So it contains, and it's able to hold quite a few um, students uh, materials inside of here. I also like that they're extremely portable because there's this handle grip that is large enough to fit uh, an adult hand easily. So even sometimes a student can take these tools to their desk if they need a material or again they are um, portable and stackable. There are about seven dif several different colors that I saw. I have five different colors here and I want to say there were about seven or eight different colors that I saw at the Dollar Tree. So. They're very cost effective. I know sometimes visiting uh, the educational stores can be a little bit pricey, but at $1, they are very, very economical. So that's my first October favorite uh, of the month. A second tool that I enjoy using uh, during the month of October were these student place value boards. They're easy to use boards to help students to understand uh, numbers from the ones to the millions. Uh, each board has a set of seven, um, seven sets of flip cards that are printed with the numeral zero to nine. Um, they come with pre-printed commas, so there's no confusion there for students. And there's even blank cover cards. These are manufactured by Lakeshore, which I know is a popular educational company for manipulatives and also curriculum related materials. And they come in a set of 10. I'll go ahead and show you what they look like. These are the place value boards that I enjoyed using. It's sturdy card stock that is uh, heavily laminated. These are the blank cover cards. And at the bottom are the place values that are printed here. Each place value has its own unique color, ranging from the ones to the millions. These worked great in conjunction with place value blocks for when students are using those to show or represent numbers. These are excellent for understanding uh, standard form notation and the different place values. I particularly found them helpful as students were using these cards that they you know, got into the habit of realizing, which related later on to uh, 
less than, greater than, ordering numbers. As the numbers are moving up, the values are increasing. As we're going backwards, the numbers are decreasing. Uh, it also helped with students recognizing how to manipulate numbers using base 10. So for example, my students were having a hard time understanding how, how base 10 would affect adding or subtracting to a certain number. For example, if we had 423 and I asked them, what would two more tens to this number be? That might be kind of difficult for them. But when we got out these place value boards, they could easily manipulate that number. And so they had more of a reference when they were using the place value blocks, or I'm sorry, these place value card sets. So they are definitely well worth it. Um, I really enjoyed using them these months with my students and I can definitely see me continue to use these throughout the school year. Another instructional tool that I enjoyed using uh, was this book, Teach Like a Champion by Doug Lamal. I know it's extremely popular. If you haven't read it or have a copy of it, you have definitely probably heard of this text. And the way that I have enjoyed using this book is that you don't necessarily have to read it from cover to cover as a narrative. It's great for um, getting, a, uh, getting quick instructional strategies that you can implement in your classroom um, the next day or even that very minute. Some of the topics included range from um, teaching uh, different strategies, working with um, difficult students, setting high expectations, structuring and delivering your lessons, creating a strong classroom culture, building character and trust, and the list goes on and on. And what I like is that it's so easy and accessible, it's filled with ideas, different types of strategies and techniques related to a common topic. And there are excellent stories <laughs> throughout here of how Doug was able to implement these um, strategies in his classroom and student reactions. And if that's not enough, there's also an instructional DVD here that's in the back. So not only can you read about the strategy, but you can actually see that strategy um, being performed. So again, this is an excellent instructional tool to kind of add to your toolbox. Another item I used during the month of October that I really loved were these ruler boards by the company The Marker Board People. And on the back side, it's a regular dry erase board. I like that it's really expansive, so the students really have room to work. Um, at this grade level, third grade, um, they're starting to downsize their writing um, from primary grades, uh, but this still allows them to have enough room to actually write and perform multi-step problems. But what I especially like on the back side is that there's a ruler built in, centimeters this side, inches this side, so when we get to that, that's something that the students can use. Uh, but for this first month, there's actually a place value chart um, complete with lines here, which helps students to kind of um, organize their, uh, their writing and to organize when they're setting up addition and subtraction problems. And it's kind of like a built-in graphic organizer. So I really enjoy um, that that feature is permanently here on the board. It makes it really easy for students. My last October favorite is actually a website. It's edutopia.com. Um, it's basically a professional learning community for teachers, administrators, parents, and other community stakeholders. Chock full of information, uh, instructional strategy based. Uh, there are blogs and forums and videos and um, articles that are updated uh, daily and it's just packed full of um, current and relevant uh, information, uh, education related news um, to just keep you abreast on what's happening um, in education and I really, really enjoy that site. It's reader friendly, easy to navigate around the website and um, again it really does connect you to the important issues uh, involving uh, education at all grade levels across all content areas. So it's fantastic. Well, if you found this video helpful, please rate it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. If you would like to follow my third grade students and myself, you can at www.missdanielsclassroom.edublogs.org. Uh, be sure again to subscribe for future videos and I will see you next time.